So thank you for tuning in to Step Out in Faith, Raw and Uncut. Hello, thank you for tuning in today. Um, I would start. I would love to start off with a shout out to the women in Lowell CI and Hernando CI. Um, I would also like to give a special shout out to my manager, the one and only, my mother Hattie Wilkins, and my pastor, my father Eric Wilkins. Um, today I would like to expound from like um, the way I see the world from the street life. Um, basically, when I'm out and about, I had been renounced the devil in my life, like, and, um, people would walk up to me, church folks, Jehovah, um, whoever was witnessing, they, they come to you and they let you know that, um, it's never too, too late to say yes to Jesus. And if you don't get right, you're going straight to hell. You don't live right. You're going straight to hell, you know, and they let you know, you know, so, um, being that I had, you know, announced in my life that Jesus is Lord and I believe that God raised Jesus from the dead and, and God forgive me of all my sins, you know, and I had done that, but they were still walking up to me telling me that it was never too late to say yes. And I had already said yes. You know, I, I had seen Jesus as my savior, as my provider, as my way maker, as my everything, you know, and it was as if I received the spirit of rejection you know because some way it's like well god you know these are your holy people and, and and am i am i not taking the right steps to enter in your kingdom you know because i have taken those steps and like i mean they have discernment so why can't they see you in me you know for example when i got out of prison and i had um they had came into my knowledge um of, of the word because of the way I spoke and it was like I didn't know you had it in you and I'm like thinking in my head you didn't know I had it in me how you didn't know I had it in me which is him the Holy Spirit himself in me when you have this great discernment you know you can see that I'm headed to hell and you can see all these things you know um my outer appearance basically and you can see Jesus in me this whole time. You know, you can look past my faults and see Jesus in me and you have this great discernment, you know. But anyway, um, basically when you very rarely have people walk up to you and be like, who is Jesus to you, you know? And you tell them, he's my savior, you know? And you're like, well, do you know who you are? Well, I'm my tray. Yeah, but my tray is only your name, okay? And then you... you you, you you have to tell them, like, you are a child of God. You know, do you know the benefits that come along with this thing, you know? And it's like, you know, you, they never tell you that because they're so stuck on your outer appearance. And, you know, automatically, the way the world sees us, we begin to see that. And it's like, okay, you go on the street corner automatically. Guy with drags, um, pants hanging low, drug dealer. Um, women's short skirt, legs out, arms out, spaghetti scrap shirt, um, boys dressed like girls. Girls dressed like boys, automatically, identity, gay, bi, whatever, bold, you know, confused, um, prostitute, whatever. You know, automatically you tell us this is who we are, but that is our behavior. But who we are, our children of God. Because, I mean, you have yet to ask me, you know, what I believe, who I believe, what I've received, what I haven't received, because you only stuck on the season of where I'm at in my life. Versus you seeing past that and, and going a little deeper with me, you know. But um, today, I mean, we're so want to be hands on and, and, and community involved, but but it's a new way now, you know. I mean, there's nothing wrong with witnessing it and warning, but there's a new way because you really don't. You're not allowing yourself. To really see the children of God as the children of God because you're so stuck on the outer when God judges and sees from the inside. He sees our heart. And you know, every day as a Christian or follower of Christ is who I represent as a follower of Christ. Um, every day we're to become more like Christ. So why can't we see as Christ sees? Because we have the mind of Christ. We are more than conquerors and, and we are overcomers by the power of our testimony. I mean, we are all of those things, but why can't we just see the way he sees, you know? Um, and I'm going to show you a clip um, in a bit to show you, you know, 
a little bit of, of where I'm going with this thing. And I'll be right back. And thank you for tuning in to Step Out in Faith, Raw and Uncut. I'll be right back. Keep it tuning in to Step Out in Faith, Raw and Uncut. So tonight I decided to step out in faith because the way the world presumes is as if they identify us by our, be our, by our behavior, which is that does not identify us. Identify us is who is our savior. So last week I asked, who is Jesus to you? And as you can see, we know that Jesus is our Lord, our savior, our master, and our provider, and everything else that we need. So tonight we're going to proclaim against amongst the nations who we are. Just because you see a drug dealer or you see a gay person, a straight, a bi, or whoever it may be, a prostitute, that doesn't mean that that identifies who we are. Tonight, my question is, who are you? I'm a child of God. Child of God. I'm a child of God. Who are you? I'm a child of God. I hear you. My name is Tashawn and I'm a child of God. My name is Tierra and I'm a child of God. My name is Sheikha and I am a child of God. And my name is Shatika Wane and I'm a child of God. I'm a child, I'm a child of the key. Who are you? I'm a child of God. Hey, brother! How you doing there? My name is Chopper Smith and I'm a daughter of God. What's going on? I'm Martin James. I'm a child of God. Hey, I'm a sinner, but I'm also a child of God. Oh, Lord. Who are you? Child of God. Child of God. Oh, so, thank you for being tuned back in to Step Out in Faith, Raw and Uncut. Hello, guys. Thank you for tuning back in. I hope you enjoyed my clip. Um, basically, my Step Out in Faith ministry represent a voice that we have a voice and that we are proclaiming that we are children of god you know and basically like like my manager whom's my mother she she told me i was like mom such and such this or such and such that she was like you know what your problem is much right you you have a problem with people that doesn't see everyone on the same level as far as in love level you know um people in the in the pews for from people in the pews to people in the pulpit, from people in the streets, so people who look that as lowly as people who look that as in higher places or whatever. You know, there there's no difference in the love level of from what God give us. God have no respect to person and he love us all the same. But we some count some kind of way get these attitudes that you may not even even try to presume that way but it come off as that way that you're better than us you know and and it, and it give off a spirit of rejection you know but basically my mother was like you know what Montre don't look to the left and don't look to the right just look forward and press toward the mark you know and, and flow with God do what God has for you to do don't worry about anything else other than what God has for you to do so with me with that being said you know I just thank God for her you know for for her giving me the knowledge of to see through you know and um you, you you can't come out here, you know, those who are witnessing and, and beat us with the Bible, like, or try to damn us to hell. You can't beat us to Jesus or damn us to Jesus. I mean, we can't even save no one's life. You know, we don't have the power to save anyone's life. Only God does that. Only Jesus does that. Um, But what we can do is make an impact. We can make an impact on each other's lives through love, you know. Love, love us to Jesus. Don't, don't beat us to Jesus, you know. And, and instead, you know, you come out, you know, get that word and you read that word, read your Bible, this and that. I mean, which is all true. But the thing about it, you're beating us with the Bible instead of giving us a Bible. There's so many people out here that is in need of a Bible. Just, just take your time out and give us some study Bibles. Come here and I'll study Bibles or, or if you have extra time or you don't mind sacrifice, sacrificing some time, excuse me. Then go through a couple of scriptures with us. I mean, we're very receptive of that. And um, there has been a shift. You know, there has been a shift. And we all are jumping on board. And we do have a voice. And we are, are announcing amongst the nations that we are children of God. You know, we do believe that God raised Jesus from the dead. We do believe Jesus as our Savior, our peacemaker, our way maker, our provider, our protector, our everything. We believe all those things. And we believe that he has came to save us. And forgive us of our sins and not condemn us, you know, but give us life and life more abundantly. And right now we're stepping into our new season. Whether it may look good to you or maybe it may not look good. 
But guess what? We know what work God is doing on the inside. And guess what? We're walking into that. And continue to lift us up, each and every one of us. We thank everyone for all your support and all of your prayers. So stay tuned. Again, this is Step Out in Faith, Raw and Uncut. It gets good. Stay tuned.